Welcome back to Follow Up News. In today's episode, we have our Prefect interviews with Freddie Hoare, which will then be followed by a musical, musical segment featuring Sammy Jamison performing The Entertainer on the piano. Now let's go over to Lockie's interview. Over to you, Lockie. Hello everyone and welcome back to Follow Up News. I'm Lockie and we are back again with another Prefect interview. Today I have in front of me the Deputy Head Boy, Freddie Hoare. Do you want to introduce yourself? G'day everyone, uh, yeah, my name's Freddie, Deputy Head Boy of Otago Boys High School this year. Uh, and I'm here today, Lockie's going to fire some questions at me, see what he's got. Alright, so just before we start the interview, Freddie, would you like to introduce yourself a bit more to the audience? Just tell them what some of your hobbies are, interests, things you like to do. Um, for me, well, uh, yeah, I grew up on a farm in Central Otago, Wedderburn, if anyone knows who that is. I uh, started my education at St John's Primary School in Ran uh, as about 50, 60 kids, so very different situation to Target Boys in Dunedin, as you could probably guess, um, which, yeah, 800 students is a big change. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, moving away from home was a big step, but, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't look back. Um, and me, growing up, I was always very interested. I wasn't, I guess, the sportiest at school, always quite academic. Um, interested in, in, in anything and everything ha happening in the world um, and your yeah, biggest passions would be aviation was always one, travel, anything to uh, yeah, the world and cultures and yep. No, so that must have been really cool to get to go to a different place and different school for you because yep. travelling is one of your interests. Yep. When coming through the archway for the first time, it's obviously a big new school, uh, what were some of your main goals that you had? Uh, for me, I think it was taking up as many opportunities as I, as I could. Uh, if I chose to stay back in Ranfurly, which uh, about 10% of our year group did but, uh, when I left, um, yeah, I would have had next to no opportunities to grow myself and personal growth and, yeah, and get, get, get the money's worth out of boarding school um, and, yeah, and go, go out of my comfort zone and grow to be a bit, better young man and grow up to be a successful person, which hopefully I'm on track to do. You definitely are. No, I definitely can see that coming through with you. Like, you're already so organised, so onto things. You really run the school really well. So, over your five years at OBs, what's been some of the really standout moments for you, things that you've really enjoyed doing? Any anything it doesn't have to be the most major thing One, okay anything um just seeing how far i've come and yeah looking back since day one and yeah i guess look, looking at my progress yeah uh what were some of the measures that you took to achieve your goals um i think for me uh it was yeah using teachers my mates my family uh and lear learning from them learning from myself and uh yeah, tracking myself as I've gone forward, personal growth. Uh, it's all, it's all kind of just happens naturally, like there wouldn't be heaps of things I've used. Um, and yeah, and you're making sure to always go outside my comfort zone and push myself every day, even the big and small tasks, and yeah, and keeping a routine, develop healthy habits, positive, yeah, positive mindset, growth mindset. Yeah. Oh yeah. So are you more of a schedule type of guy or a kind of just wing everything uh, as it comes by? Bit of both. Things what moment. In one week I'll be making lists, and oh, I am a bit of a spreadsheet freak. I can, um, but yeah, I can. Yeah, one week I'll be. I'll make a list of everything. One week I'll just be like, oh, plan it, plan it each day as it comes. Yeah, I definitely relate to the spreadsheet freak a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it like for you to obviously, as deputy head boy, is an extremely important position. What was it like for you when you achieved that goal? Uh, I think, yeah, when I was, I didn't quite think I'd get in the interview stage and then I got, and then I obviously got an interview and achieved, and yeah, Mr Hall said it to me that day and I was like, yeah, pretty chuffed. So I was, see, see what this year's got in store. Um, just went with it really. Didn't stress too much and yeah, and uh, yeah, happy as anything for Gussie to have got that role. He couldn't have deserved mm. more. So uh, yeah, and we've worked really well together. We're both just as excited. Oh yeah. Um... And lastly, what's some final advice that you'd give yourself if you were looking back to year nine? I think, uh, yeah, just be yourself. Don't, don't worry about what others think and um, don't stress about the future too much. Just let it happen. Um, yeah, just keep pushing yourself. Thank you very much, Freddie, for coming into this interview. I had a lot of fun. Um, and tune in for next week's episode of Follow Up News for an interview with... 
the hostel head boy, Archie. Thank you to Lockie and Freddie for that amazing interview. Now over to our music segment, where we'll have Sammy Jamison playing on the piano. Let's take it away to that. What a great performance by Sammy Jamison on the piano. Now this concludes the rest of our episode, so I'd like to say a special thanks to you guys for watching, and special thanks to everybody else that makes this show possible. That concludes it, so bye. <laughs>